Welcome back to my quarterback road to glory with quarterback Dylan Grayson. Today we jump in to week four against an FCS school. So hopefully we can get our shit together and stop throwing so many picks because we've thrown seven in two games now. Let's go ahead and jump in and see if today can go any better. All right, we get the ball to start today. And here on first and 10, we're going to be in shotgun running a play action. And we'll take the snap and under pressure and sacked on the first play of the game. I didn't really see anyone come open. So now second and 21 under center. Run a play action. And let's see if we can get that deep shot there. And did we just, okay. I said, if we just got picked off by an FCS school, I'm going to be livid. Third and 21. We could be held to a three and out here. Take the snap out of shotgun. And post right over the middle and knocked away. All right, we take over this drive from inside our own one yard line. So on first down, we will give it to our fullback and also our backup tight end. And he will get a few yards, but there is a flag. Clipping on the offense, so bring it back to the three. So after the clipping, it is first and eight. And hand off to McGrew up the middle, and McGrew will get an eight yard gain and a first down. No flags this time. All right, going under center. Takes a snap. And we'll go over the middle of the field. That is caught by Moore, and he's got the first down gain of 19. I like that it has FCS West record down there on the bottom of 0 and 14. So now on first and 10, play action. And we'll just go to Kate Otten right there over the middle of the field. And another first down gain of 21. All right, first and 10. Take the snap, handoff to McGrew to the outside. McGrew runs through a man and is tackled for a loss of three. Oh, now we're going to try an option play. All right, second and 13. See if I can read this properly. And yeah, we'll give it to the running back. And he will still get nothing. I feel like I read that correctly and they just played it good. Third and 16 in shotgun. We will take the snap, and they are blitzing, so we'll go over the middle. Caught by Kate Otten, and he has the first down. First and 10 in shotgun. Take the snap, and we'll throw that slant right over the middle. That is caught by McMillan, who makes a man miss inside the 10, and finally brought down at about the 6-yard line gain of 27. First and goal, going under center. Going to be a play action, and rolling out to the left side. And throw that to the backup tight end, and he will be into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. 7-0 lead. All right, we take over our next drive in their territory on first and 10. And we will toss that back to McGrew, who bounces to the outside, breaks a tackle, and a one-yard gain. Second and nine going under center. Take the snap and go to K. Dotton right there, first down. And he is going to be brought down near the 30, gain of 17. First and 10. Grayson under center takes the snap. And we will lob that one downfield. That is going to be caught by Bynum, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. All right, take over our next drive. It is first and 10. In shotgun, we'll take the snap and roll it to the left side to try to find somebody open downfield, and let's just take off. I don't want to risk throwing a pick here. I promise you guys, I am trying to be better about interceptions. Second and four. In shotgun, take the snap. And force that one over the middle. Caught by Odunes, first down. All right, first and 10, going under center. Take the snap, play action. Looking to maybe go deep downfield, trying to find somebody to come open. And yeah, just throw that to the tight end there. Take the five yards and move on. Second and five, going under center. Take the snap. And we'll go to Kate Otten again over the middle. He has the catch and another first down, gain of 17. First and 10 in shotgun. Take the snap. And we're going to go to Moore over the middle. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Three touchdowns in the first half. First and 10 going under center. 3.09 to go here in the second quarter. Take the snap, roll out to the left, and get chased down by the defensive end, but find Kate Otten, who has the catch and is into their territory for a gain of 19. Yeah, having Kate Otten is completely broken. He has five catches for 95 yards. And here on first and 10, we are going to go right back to him on the outside. He has the catch and brought down at the 25. All right, under center, send a man in motion here on first and 10. Toss it back to McGrew, who goes to the outside and is blown up, loss of three. All right, second and 13, 220 to go here in the first half. Hand off to McGrew up the middle, and McGrew will have the first down on the play. Gain of 13. Running the ball actually worked there. Now on first and 10 in shotgun. Take the snap, hand off to McGrew, and let's get up here and try to throw some blocks. Seven yard gain. Second and three, 201 to go in the half. Take the snap, roll out to the right, and throw that to Joshua Moore, and he is going to be brought down after a one yard gain. No, his name is Quentin Moore. I think I've been calling him Joshua Moore the last two games. So now third and two 
and shotgun take the snap and we'll go to McMillan over the middle and touchdown Washington 41 seconds to go in the half and coach is calling four verticals from the 10 yard line and I I had a guy we had someone deep if you go back and watch that McMillan was gone on that play if I could get the pass off second and 10 take the snap and can we lead that to the right side oh we don't even need to as Bynum makes the catch and is brought down after a 50 yard game 31 seconds to go in the half. First and 10 from the 45. Take the snap. And we are going to go to Kate Otten down the middle of the field, who has the catch and is brought down inside the 10. A 32-yard gain. Having him is just essentially having Weisbecker in high school again. So first and goal, and we're going to run four verticals here for some reason. But we'll take the snap and go to McMillan over the middle, and he will be brought down at the 1. Second and goal. Grayson going under center. Take the snap and quick slant route and incomplete. Third and goal, going under center. Grayson takes the snap, rolls out to the right, trying to find somebody open, but we'll just take off into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. We jump to the second half, and this is pretty much what you expect from playing an FCS school. Had this game been close at all, I would have been very concerned about this team. But on first and 10, McGrew gets a 10-yard gain. First and 10 under center, toss that back to McGrew. McGrew gets one hell of a block from 79 and gets a five-yard gain. Second and five, going under center. Take the snap, and someone's got to get away from their guy. All right, we'll go right there to Odunes, who has the first down, 16-yard game. Yeah, this one's just kind of feeling like a high school game again. I just can't audible. So first and 10 going under center. Take the snap, and we'll go to Otten right there over the middle. Quick five-yard game. Second and five, under center, hand that to McGrew to the outside. Blocking does not hold up, and he loses one yard. Third and five. And it's going to be a halfback draw to McGrew up the middle. And he is going to be brought down after a gain of one. That's actually a really good play from that defense there. All right, but up 35 to nothing here in the third quarter. Coach is saying we're going to go for it here on fourth down. And we're going to go to Otten over the middle. And that should have been a pick. Against any non-FCF school, that probably is a pick. I just didn't even see that linebacker there. First and 10, play action. And dump that off to the tight end. Caught by Westover. He's got a seven-yard gain. So now second and three in shotgun. Take the snap, hand off to, or keep it for Grayson, gain of three. Third and one, Grayson going under center. He takes the snap, and we're just gonna throw that one to the outside to Dunes, who has the first down. There was no one on him there for a second, so I knew it was an easy first down. First and 10, gonna hand it to the running back right up the middle here. And McGrew actually gets a few yards there, gain of seven. Second and three going under center, and I really wish I could flip this run because I don't think it's gonna work to this side. And he will get maybe a gain of one. All right, third and three. We're going to do a fake end around here. Hand it to McGrew, and McGrew will have the first down. We will keep this drive going. Let's see if we can get the snap off before the end of the third quarter. First and 10, take the snap. And we will go right there to Odunes, who will come back for it and then make a gain of about five. All right, we start the fourth quarter up 35 to nothing. And we will hand off to McGrew. McGrew bounces it to the outside, breaks a tackle, and brought down after a gain of four. Third and two here. Going under center, take the snap. They are blitzing on the play. And we will go right there over the middle, caught by O'Dunes, and he can't hold on to it. And we were pulled from the rest of the game. Final score is 42 to nothing here as we get our third win of the season and finally don't throw a pick. Granted, it is against an FCS school, so I don't really know if it's much of an accomplishment, and there are definitely two or three throws that should have been picked off. But we get out here with a win, 42 to nothing, and move on to week five. And we finally win a play of the game, or a player of the game. Final stats from today, 23 of 29, 385 yards, and four touchdowns. So we finally have a game without an interception, but it is against an FCS school, so we'll see if we can carry that over into our regular schedule. Rushing, McGrew had 15 for 54, and Grayson had four for zero yards and a touchdown. Receiving-wise, though, Kate Otten, eight catches, 156 yards, and zero touchdowns. I don't think he scored yet this year, even though he's been one of my most targeted people. And then Quentin Moore, five for 48 and two touchdowns. Jalen McMillan, three for 40 and one touchdown. And Terrell Bynum, two for 81 and a touchdown. Moving on to week five, we move up to number 10 in the rankings, and our next game is versus Arizona as we start our Pac-12 schedule. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you guys next time.